Hi, I'm Kevin with Springfield Leather. This is a video on how to sharpen a swivel knife. We're shooting it during store hours. You will hear the happy little telephone ringing and you will hear people talking. That's because we're working and hopefully somebody will answer that before very long. The 12th most lousy thing in the world is trying to cut leather with a dull swivel knife. Now, you may know how to sharpen a swivel knife and do a pretty good job, but there's a lot of people that don't. And even for the ones that do know how to sharpen a swivel knife, you may find part of this interesting. So I'm going to show you. I got my happy little piece of leather wet. This is brand new swivel knife right out of the back. Now you probably are very familiar with that scenario. It jerks and it drags and it pulls. Well, for many, for most, sharpening a swivel knife is simply a matter of taking a little bit of jeweler's rouge and creating your own little strop. This is just like, uh, basically this is what grandpa used to use to sharpen the old single edge razor or a barber would use to, to sharpen his razor. And all we're going to do is take this knife blade and drag it back, not doing this. Do not do this. If you raise the butt end of that knife up, you'll round off the edge. You don't want to do that. So just pull it straight, wipe the gunk off it, and you'll see a big improvement. Now, for what it's worth, if somebody in the family has a dull kitchen knife, doesn't cut the tomatoes too hot, any kind of a knife blade, you will immediately notice an incredible difference in the cutting ability. Now that buffing compound that I rubbed on here was white. You see how it's already turning it black? That's because it's removing metal. Most of the time, if your swivel knife has the proper edge on it, all it takes is just stropping it and it'll be sharp enough to work very well. Now, unfortunately, we dropped these dumb things. In view of that, I'm going to take the blade out. Eventually. Maybe as soon as I get the right size screwdriver. Okay. I've got my swivel knife blade out of the knife. Set that down. You may or may not have seen one of these. There's uh, two pieces to it. It's called a keen edge sharpener. Quite the complicated little device. You stick your swivel knife blade in there and hold it in with your finger. Tighten this thing down. And we're going to take a whetstone. Put a little oil on it. Sewing machine oil. Then what you do is pick up your swivel knife blade. Lay this on your stone. Get down and look at it until you get the angle right. Adjust this little bar so that everything is fine. Then all you do is push until you get it, until you get the nick or whatever it is in that blade out. Has to be gone. Back and forth, back and forth. Now, that will make it so that your knife blade has the proper edge, but it also creates a problem. And this is something that a lot of people don't realize. When these blades are manufactured, they're held in some kind of a jig and they're usually pushed down onto a flat spinning wheel and it's ground to the proper angle. But the grind marks that that tool leaves are vertical. Think about it. You're pulling this leather 
through this blade, through the leather, horizontally. Automatic drag. The way that you can really sharpen your swivel knife well is to take this little blade, get your oil on your, your stone, just hold it to the proper angle, and you can feel it right away. And just go back and forth, sideways, both sides, until you get those little grind marks running sideways, not up and down. Now once you've done that, then we can get rid of some of this junk before I drop it again. We're going to put knife blade back in the swivel knife. Then we're going to very carefully wipe off the excess oil. Is my wife around here? We're going to wipe this off on a rag. Why are you and that way picking uh, no good you don't get in any trouble. Gun. Okay. Now if you have sharpened it on that stone, and if you think you're going to cut leather with it, you are sadly mistaken. It does not work that way. You have to go back, pull that knife on this strop. Now, it's nice if you can do this, but it's a little more difficult on a piece of leather. You can, you just got to be careful. Now, what? In effect, what that does, it, it takes your, your blade that's got the proper angle on it and it polishes it. Once it's polished, it works. Now we'll see if I've been successful. Hopefully, this is how a swivel knife should work. You know what? I think I did it. Now you know. The little cut on the top, that's the jerky one. Those cuts down there, they're nice and smooth. Make sure your blade is polished. Got the right edge on it, it works. But it's got to be polished. Thanks. Bye.